<laughs> Good morning, everyone. This is Creative Moments by G, and I'm Georgia. We are so happy to have you here on Facebook Friday. Oh my goodness, we're located in the sunny southwest of New Mexico, and I'm telling you, we are having a heat wave. We are going to have the next seven days at 107 degrees. Can you believe that? <laughs> is that hot enough for you? Well, it is hot enough for us. Oh my goodness. We have a very interesting fun fold. And so I think you're going to have fun making this. And we're also going to use one of our flower stamp sets. So I say let's head down to the crafting table and let's get started. Well, I want you to stick around to the end because we have another version of the card we're gonna make. But let me show you the stamp sets that we'll be using. We're going to use Path of Petals because I believe we're using a saying from here. We're also going to use our beautiful prized peony. Now, you need to check out the other video, which I'll link at the end of this video over on YouTube. We created another card using this. And if you'll remember, this also creates a 3D, right, flower. And we talked about it in the video, how we separate out our dies so that we know which one is for the 3D and which one is just to use to cut out the flowers. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, this is a fun fold, it's a gate fold, but what we have is a slide and lock mechanism that's gonna go on the front. What you need to do is go ahead and cut you an A2 size card, and that is five and a half by eight and a half, and you don't score it in the middle though. This time, you score at two and one eighth, and two and one eighth on each side to create that gatefold, right? And then I want you to put it into your trimmer and just take off a sliver, just like a sixteenth, because you don't want this to catch at all, okay? You're also gonna need a mat, so let's go ahead and get that mat laid down, right? Okay, and if you're watching on the rebroadcast, we would love to have your comments. Let us know what you think of this card. So we're gonna go ahead and get the middle part down. And remember, all the dimensions will be over on our website at creativemomentsbyg.com and just click on the blog, right? And you can get all the dimensions. So let's look at the front. We decided to use this beautiful DSP paper, right? Isn't that gorgeous? And we are going to use that as a layer, but before that, we picked out a color, Flirty Flamingo, that we feel matches it perfectly. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our mini Gemini, and we are just gonna run these panels through a uh, an embossing sheet. So any emboss embossing sheet that you have, just to give it some depth, right? Now I like using this little mini Gemini. It is so nice. And look at this. Is that not gorgeous? Oh, beautiful. We're gonna do the other one very quickly. And now we have our two panels. It's a very quick card to make. We are going to simply put our panels right here. So let's go ahead and get our panels down for the front of this card. Now remember, a little tip. When you emboss anything, you're gonna have some crevices, right? So you need to make sure and push down really hard to make sure that it adheres to your cardstock. So get that lined up and really push it down so that it lines up. Okay, we're gonna do the other side. So pretty. That's what I like about stamping up, right? The colors coordinate so well. Now look at that. We're simply going to lay that. Now you won't see much of this, but you'll see just a hint of it. 
and it really adds to the presence of this card, I think. So we're just going to lay this down, and once again, it is kind of bumpy because it's been embossed, right? So you do need to push down hard to make sure you get good contact. Now what I'm going to do after this is I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment because my sentiment's going to go right on the mechanism that we're going to make right here. Let's put that to the side and let's go ahead and get a piece of paper so that I can stamp my sentiment. And I am going to stamp in Old Olive because I think that will be very pretty. And look at this sentiment, love and thanks to a dear friend. And just hold it for good contact. Isn't that pretty? That font is so pretty. So we're going to go ahead and we'll be cutting that out. And on the inside, remember I told you we were using that other stamp set. Look at this, your kindness. Oh, I can't read it, let me see. It says, your kindness has touched my heart. Isn't that beautiful? So let's go ahead and stamp that right in the middle. And once again, I'm gonna use the old olive. And because this is the first time I've ever used this, I'm gonna stamp this off on this paper just to make sure, look at that, that it works perfectly, and it does. Oh, look at that font. Is that not beautiful? Now we're gonna put that to the side just for a second because we need to go ahead and stamp our beautiful prized peony. So we are going to take a piece of paper and because we will be coloring this and using our blends, we are going to use soft suede. It actually will not bleed when you use the blends. So look at this beautiful, beautiful flower. I'm just gonna hold it down. Now this is one of those stamps that already has the shading, right? So let me show you how we're going to color this. I'm going to pick out two colors, two blends that I want to use. I have the dark Calypso Coral and I have the light Calypso Coral. Now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take the blending side of the nib and I'm just going to go over this entire flower. Now you will see I'm going to come back in with the darker color just in some places. Notice how I've turned this to the side right so as not to ruin the tip. I'm going to let that dry just a second and I'm going to go ahead and bring in my two old olives. I have a light and a dark so I'm going to come in and I'm just going to go over the vein of the leaf and that will give us even more shading than we have. And I'm going to come in with the light and just leave that dark shading that we did. Look how pretty that looks. I like these kind of stamps because really they do the shading for you, don't they? You don't have to worry about the shading. And if you wanted it to be a little darker on the leaves, you could do that. You could come back in with some shading. Now, remember I said I was going to bring in a little bit more shading here. So what I'm going to do is just drag a little bit of this where that shading already exists. Just a little bit. And you can always go back in with the light to lighten it up, which is what I'll do just going in a little bit and these are alcohol markers and so as it evaporates the color gets lighter right okay now i'm going to come back in with my light to even that out just a little bit and go around it in little bitty circles oh so beautiful look at this isn't that pretty? Now we need to do the wood. Now I'm going to use this new bronze that they have as a blend. Is that not beautiful? 
I'm just going to come in. I think that is so pretty. It's not very dark, actually. Now we're going to move this to the side and bring back in our Gemini Mini. I am going to put my die right on the flower and I am going to lock it down with uh, some removable tape so that it doesn't move. And this is repositionable tape so it won't rip your card up. And we're just going to put it in its little folder and run it through the machine. And look at that. Now comes the fun part. I'm going to show you how to make this secret mechanism. The first thing you need to do, we're doing circles, but like I said, I will be showing you how to use this in a square also. You need to cut out three inch circles. You need four of them. And what you need to do is go ahead and take one and fold it over, line it up exactly right, use your bone folder, and you only want to fold over two, right? So we have one folded over, we have two circles, and we're going to fold over this next one. Okay, so we have these two pieces, right? Here we go. We're going to have a base, and we're going to have a top. And in between, we're going to have these guys. So we want to just glue them down, just like this. So take your glue, put some glue, and then line it up exactly right. Okay, we want to make sure that it's lined up and the crease goes to the middle, right? So let's get some more glue and just push it right up to that center and now we have a base, right? It's almost like a table. We have a base and we have these two middle circles folded in half. Very simple. Now we just want to put this one right on top. We want to glue it. Make sure you don't get any glue on this because this is our secret mechanism. Just put some glue right here. and Let's go around the edges. And now we're just going to put this right on top. And line it up. Make sure everything is lined up and just press it. We just need to make sure that this is exactly where it needs to be. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just put that on there for just a second so that we get some good contact and it dries. And while we wait for that, we have our sentiment cut out and we went ahead and we cut out a shadow of the flirty flamingo. So I'm gonna set this up on dimensionals and I'm going to use the mini dimensionals. Okay, so we're going to put that. I think this is glued well now. Now look at it. You have something just like this. See? Perfect. Now we have our card and we are going to decorate this so that we have enough room for our message, right? So I'm going to set this up on dimensionals and just give us enough so that, like I said, it holds up well going through the mail. And now, what's important when you put this down, this is another tip. You want to make sure that this line is straight because that's how it slips in. And I'm going to set this up so that it's straight, but you know what I'm gonna do first? I think I'm gonna put it on the card so that we make sure we get it lined up exactly straight. So let me show you how to get this in here. You can just slip it down if you want, but what I recommend is you slip this side in, go ahead and slip that side in, and then just bring it down. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And now we have our saying that we need to put on. So I'm gonna set it up on mini dimensionals again. Take the backing off. 
and here we go. We're just going to line this up right in the center of the card and look at our finished product. Is that not beautiful? You see how it's a slide and lock? You simply slide this out, open it up, there's your inside for your message, and once again, we just slide it just like that. That's the way I like to do it. Just put it in and then slide it down. Is that not a creative fun fold? I love that and I love the prize penny. Now remember I said I was going to show you one that we used to square. Look at this sunflower that we made. Look at this one. We put the sunflower on the top. Isn't that pretty? And then you just slide it out. Hold it. Slide it out. There's your message. And it's the exact same mechanism. See how it is? You use that fold, you just cut out four squares, and two of them you fold in half. And then when you're ready to put it back together, we simply, I put it just like that, and there you have it. And it locks it. We really like this fun fold, and we love the prize peony. We think it is so pretty. So we hope you go out and you use this fun fold to create so many pretty cards. Thank you so much for sharing your time with us today. We want you to go out and have a wonderful weekend. Be safe, be healthy, be creative in your crafting, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.